getting no coffee and something to eat because I'm starving. Hold on a second. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I love your nails. Thank you. Ready? Thank you, you so much. Have a good one. You too. Nails are purple and gems and glittery. And I wish I had nails like that, but I can't because my job just oof, kills them. I got the medium pumpkin pill brew. Medium, I don't know. I don't know. Three dollar one right now. What's going on? And then I got some maple bacon sandwich thing because I'm starving. It seems quite expensive for this. Croissant. It doesn't really have any oomph. Like I would have should have gotten the pesto grilled cheese because that's the bomb. But I think actually that might be gone for the season. I haven't tried this sandwich yet from Duncan, so we're gonna test it out together and we're gonna see what it tastes like. Alright, let's try it. This is the maple sweet maple bacon something toasted croissant. does have egg on it, which I think I knew that, but, well, I don't know. Oh, it smells good. With the egg, it's the white part that bothers me the most, which is, of course, probably good for you, right? But it just doesn't taste as good anymore. <clears throat> which is odd, because the yellow part still tastes normal. It makes no sense. COVID makes no sense. It's good, but I wish the bacon was a little crispier. Is it worth five something? No. Just did a quick run in Target and wanted to show you that the bathing suit section is now jackets because summer is officially almost over. You're welcome. And Ava and V is featured in the front. Not very often do I see plus size featured in the front. Pretty much never. Um, I didn't do a big of try on at Target today. I just was showing you some of the colors of these sweaters, which are some of my favorite sweaters. I get them pretty much every season, but I already have so many. I'll link them down below um, because it was mostly summer clearance right now. There wasn't much fall, so I'll try to go back to Target and do like an actual fall try on for you guys in a little bit. Um, but I did try on these jeans. I don't really buy jeans that are not skinny. I, they just feel weird on me, straight leg jeans. I liked where the um rips fell because most of the times they fall like right on my kneecap and I don't like my knees but um I don't know I felt like it was just giving too much belly in a weird length and then I'm just showing you my outfit of the day which is my favorite dress from Walmart this NYC Madden uh fanny pack and leggings from Walmart because I have to wear leggings under my dresses at all times you know big girl problems um but yeah that's it hello everybody so I just left Target <laughs> I'm sweating the time it's only 70 degrees out, but it's like hot. I'm a hot person. Like, yeah, you are. Um, no, I run very hot. I'm fluffy. It happens. I got like leggings on. That's the thing. Um, ooh. I need a sip of my coffee. Yeah. I got a few things, spent 60 bucks, not too bad, more than I would have wanted to spend. I wasn't really planning on, I wasn't really planning on spending anything, um, but I did film only one try on because it was hot, and you know what, they didn't really have too many, like, nice things in the, in the plus size section, which isn't, like, unheard of, but I thought maybe they would have, like, some fall pieces that I would still try on for you guys, but it was mostly, like, lingering summer and a couple cardigans and i've tried out a million cardigans at target they're literally the same ones every year um i did you know people have been sharing on tiktok there's so many cute ones um normally i get the um a new day or what's the other brand i get universal standard does that standard not standard universal thread universal thread um i usually get their cardigans but I literally have 475 cardigans. I don't need another one. I just bought one at TJ Maxx. But then I say that, and I bought a cardigan. But it's a lightweight cardigan. So this one, you know. But, so, 
Um, so in the tryout, I showed you my outfit of the day, and this thing, this is like my favorite purchase, and I am going to probably purchase it in black, but the problem is it doesn't have it in store, so I'd have to ship it, and it's like an extra eight bucks to ship it, and it's like, yeah, no, it's already 20 bucks as it is. This is the uh, Madden NYC brand. Um, it's so lightweight. They have it in black, pink, white, this color. Um, I don't know if any other colors, but it comes with this little thing. This thing was actually over here. But it's like, I don't know, it seems so far away. Like, I, I, I don't know. So I put it on the side. It is super adjustable. It can be a fanny pack. I will say, though, this kind of like when you're wearing a bra and it automatically just goes on its own. It, um, it, it's very loose, but I wear it as a crossbody. And it's amazing for a plus-size crossbody. Like, I was like, I'm not sure about the sparkles. I love them. None have come off so far. I mean, I don't even care. I mean, no, I will care if they do. But they are pretty well on there and you know like it's just so nice I love it the only thing I will say is over here this little thing keeps getting stuck on the zipper and it's annoying but um for 20 bucks you know I mean see what I mean like and I have to like push it and do that but um yes I love this thing it's really hard to find crossbodies it is fanny pack it is a fanny pack but like I said it does get loosey-goosey but it fits and I'm, I'm a chunky in the fanny pack section, so <laughs> it's definitely good. So what I picked up from Target, I don't know if I showed this in the films, in the films, um, was this. It was in clearance, and I figured it was fall colors. Um, I don't know if I love it. It was 10 bucks though, and I figured it's, it's really big. Like, I wish I could zoom out. Uh, it's really big. It has a big pocket here, some side pockets, just one big middle pocket, and it does this. Um, this is kind of like a softy, suede feeling. Um, it was originally 35 It was only 10 bucks. So, yeah, and it has this front pocket here. I don't know. And you know what? I don't do shoulder bags that often, but this one is big. Like, you know what I mean? It has a lot of room for my arm. So, I feel like this one feels comfortable. Most of them, they're like up in my armpit, and I can't stand it. So, I don't know if I love it, love it, but... For 10 bucks, I thought it was a nice little staple piece. Nice. It goes with falls. I'm not really sure it's on clearance. Then I got a couple headbands. They were on clearance for $3, normally 10 I like headbands. Um, this one I thought was a nice pretty color. They're crazy charging $10 for their headbands. Like, who, why? Why? They should be 6 or less. I'm just saying. 6 is even too much for me, but, like, I know it's Target, so i got to be realistic. But um, I like headbands. I have short hair, but... Um, when my hair is a little bit longer, it has a little curl action here. I mean, it's not too bad right now, but see, I'm like, you know, when my curls are, this one's kind of cute. Like, I don't know if I love it, but I like the color. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. And then I got this one, which was also $3. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this big thing here. Um, I feel like once my hair is a little longer, it would be cuter. Like, you know, imagine some curls up in there. Um, but I don't know. I, $3. And then this one was just a plain, um, no, not action, but I liked the color. I thought it was, oh, I don't like how this one feels in my head. I might be giving this one away. Warp. It's a little too tight here. But, um, yeah, I think the green one's my favorite, to be honest. And that's the one I thought I was going to like the least. Um, I also picked up this cardigan. This is the cardigan I picked up. It was on clearance for $7, was $25. It's from A New Day in the 2X, and it's just a lightweight, like, camel color cardigan um I did not try it on films <laughs> why do I keep saying in the films in the video <laughs> I don't know um but I got that I thought that would be a nice fall staple what else did I pick up oh and then I picked up some jeans I did not try these jeans on. I tried on a different pair of jeans and they were cute right right but they were a little too short like I don't know I'm not I'm a skinny girl like not skinny I'm a skinny lip oh my god why do I always have to defend myself? Anyways, I am a skinny jean person. So any other style of jean weirds me out. Even if I look good at them, but I don't really know. Like, you know what I mean? So I did not like them because I did like... I thought you were going to park right next to me, girl. Like, I don't understand. I park so far away and people just find me. So I got these. I did not try... Oh, they're I'll have to try them on. 
Oh, I like high rise. They were 30 bucks. We're gonna try them. If they don't fit, it's okay. But they have stretch. Um, they're just a skinny jean, but they have this little, little thing at the bottom, right? How cute is that? How cute is that little detail? You know, I thought I wish I had a little fringe because I like a fringe. It has just very minimal distressing, which sometimes, you know, a distress is nice, but sometimes I don't need holes everywhere. Oh, hi. I'm going to go for a walk. Um, and then, um, yeah. And then I also picked up. <laughs> Stop it. I wish they had a Franken bride, but they did not. Do they squeak? Oh my god. They do not squeak. Okay. I guess they're not like real rubber duckies. But that's okay. I mean, what do I need to squeak for? But look at, and then I also got this one. Where is he? And those galley. And this is galley. Okay. And then they did not have the cute one that everybody's talking about on TikTok, but I saw this one. Oh, look how cute. Oh, look at his little cape. This was $2. Tell me why. I don't know why this was $2. And these were a dollar. Like, it's the same level of items here, people. But, how cute. And I'm going to hang him here, I believe. But I don't know yet. Then I decided to run into Old Navy. I'm just showing you some of the flannels and the color options they have. I love the color pattern going on here. Falls, mustards, yellows, grays emeralds you know once again it was a lot of summery transition pieces um i just didn't really try on much fall because i didn't have much fall and i didn't want to try on 45 pound shackets but anyways um this is a really nice um jumper but you know like it was too big it was in the clearance section um so they didn't have like other options to try um Old Navy is weird in their sizing. Like, it fit super big everywhere else, super tight in the stomach area. But, I mean, that's just me being bigger in my stomach area. But, like, their sizing is just not consistent. Like, this was a 4X. I am not a 4X. I am a 2 to 3X in Old Navy. Even sometimes I can wear an extra, extra large in Old Navy. Like, it doesn't make sense. If it looks like it fits me, I'm going to try it on. Whether the size is wrong or right, I'm just going to try it on. Because Old Navy makes no sense in their sizing. Nothing is consistent. Um, especially in their jeans. Their jeans, I don't even know why I bother trying them on. I cry sometimes when I try on their jeans because um, my size in jeans at Target or Walmart is nowhere near my size at Old Navy. And even if I size up two to three sizes at Old Navy, sometimes they don't even fit me. Sometimes they do fit me. It makes no sense whatsoever. These are a size 26. I am not a size 20, size 26. Um, so why? I, I, mm, yeah. Makes no sense. I'm out of size 26. That is three sizes bigger than I actually am. Um, but this, oh, this I fell in love with. I did buy it at full price. So just don't come at me. I had to get it because I love tops like this where I could wear a uh, summer, spring, winter leggings and some boots and a cardigan or, you know, some biker shorts and some sandals or, you know, that's just like my favorite kind of transition piece. Um, yeah, and here's me forgetting to show you the next piece. This, okay, I'm going home. I've had enough. I went to Five Below. Um, I got this little bag. I don't know why. I think I was just drawn to the fact that it got pumpkins and bats and moons on it. It's a little treat bag, but it was $2. I'm going to use it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, to be honest. I'm going to throw it in my purse and use it for, like, quick shopping. Cause it folds up into like nothing maybe i don't know Just don't i bought a water bottle so this is the one i got from walmart for 14. it's thick this one's thin but this is mm, 32 ounces this is 26 ounces um this is stainless steel it has a little finger thingy it has a little straw like i like so we're gonna test this one out five bucks let's see if this one keeps everything cold um i just don't know i don't know let me see is the straw not gonna stand oh it does stand okay i think they don't put it on there just in case uh, but yeah um this one i could also put stickers on because it's black i mean i have stickers on the other one but the other this one is like smooth the other one has like kind of a 
mat. I don't know how to explain it. Just wanted to give a little disclaimer. This water bottle sucks. Do not purchase it. It sucked. I also picked up um, one of these because sometimes I'm in bed and I want to watch a movie. I don't feel like I want to watch it on my phone. So I bought one of these guys. Little holder, neck holder. We can also like bend it and put it on the table. So that's why I was like, all right, well, if I don't use it for the neck thing. Let's see. So I figured, oh my god, it's all right. <laughs> so supposedly you're supposed to like put this on your neck. I don't know. Oh, I don't like it. I'm gonna have to maneuver this a little sugar. Right? And then put your phone on here. So like when you're in bed, you can just like duff and read and um, but then you can also bend it so that it stands like on the table. I don't know. It takes maneuvering. It, it's, it's a thing. They folded it into 17. I don't know how they got that in the box. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just going to throw that into my old navy bag. Um, and then I also picked up this. I love the books from Five and Below. This one was a three book set. So I was like, all right, that's not too bad for five books, right? Um, I had a bunch of books. I have, but then like, they have a lot of good cookbooks in like, more geared cookbooks but I'm like I have so many Pinterest recipes that I um don't necessarily need like all these specialty cookbooks I like to collect older cookbooks and stuff that's like more classic and I have a few new ones oh my gosh I can't open a toy I just don't want to show you what these are okay I got it um but they have a lot of spiritual journals and crystals and tarot and all these other things. Um, this is Herbal Magic, Handbook of Natural Spells, House Magic, and Moon Magic. And this is like, you know, this is my vibe. I don't know if anybody noticed or knows that, but um, I am I am not like a super knowledgeable person on crystals and all this other things and, and um, herbs and all that stuff. Uh, I'm starting. Um, but like, look how cute these are. And it tells you... Um, herbal magic guide and this is a handbook of natural spells charms and potions and it comes with three of them herbal house and moon uh, do I believe that um, you know I'm gonna do a spell and it's gonna work and everything's gonna be fine no but I feel like you can heal and cleanse your soul and your chakra and your space and all these other things and um, you can definitely center yourself with a lot of these type of things so i got this a little three books five bucks i thought it was cute and i also picked up this little little cauldron it was three dollars um i'm not sure i might put a plant in it i might use it for halloween candy i don't know what i used for some lady was walking out with it and i'm like well i need that and i got it so but that's the end of this vlog i hope you enjoyed it you know i would have probably tried on more stuff at old navy except I don't know. I was expecting to go in there and have like this fall dream of floral dresses and cardigans and it wasn't really that vibe yet. It was a lot of clearance stuff still and some stuff like that. Um, had a lot of shackets, flannels. I was just, it's, it's pretty cool. It's cooler today. It's only like 60, 70 degrees out, but, um, I just wasn't in the mood to try trying these heavy flannel jackets. So, um, I did buy a jacket. I, I don't like the word jacket, really, to be honest, because the, the one from Walmart was a lot thicker, and it was 20, 20, I don't know. It was an olive green. They have a white one and another color, I think. But I got the olive green one. It's pretty sturdy. I don't wear coats in the winter. I hate coats. If you, if you will probably catch me in a coat twice the whole entire winter. I do not wear coats. I hate them with a passion. Um, yes. Um, yes. That's it.